Welcome everyone. As you can see behind me, today we have a special guide video on making more gold. And as you can see, I have been selling a lot of items on my old account, on my main account. So I have been selling a lot of items. And just as I was collecting the gold, and as you can see over here, I have reached 220,000 gold. And I have made about 150,000 gold this week within about five days. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to explain how I made this much gold with step by step, how I started with my gold, how I made gold from different sources of auction house, of daily chaos farming, and of market trading. And I want to explain everything to you guys. What are the new tier two and also tier one methods? I have found a few other methods that can give us more gold. About 1,900 gold with rapport, and also close to about 10,000 additional gold if you do this correctly using the tier 1 maps with the rift shards. This is quite important. I'll talk to you guys about this because you actually get 6 or 10 times more gold by doing this. I'll also briefly talk about how to save more gold at tier 1 and also tier 2 and also how to get additional gold at tier 3. So this video will talk about a lot of mechanics in the game which help me to get gold and also different weekly method. One of the biggest focus I want to touch on on the second part is going to be the market trading. Right now I have figured out two methods. One is the daily trading method, which I talked about in a previous video. The second one is a weekly trading method, which I want to share with you guys as well. Because with the weekly trading method, as you can see over here, a lot of things that have been selling, so the protection, so the grace, and one of the biggest sellers for me was actually solar grace. I want to talk to you guys about the items I'm currently trading, what are the good items that made me a fortune of gold, and what are some of the items that actually lost me gold. So I want to warn you guys, I want to give you guys the figures, and how to trade weekly, and also how to trade daily. It is very important to get the timing right, because you can easily make you know a lot of gold, or you can lose a lot of gold. I did lose about 10,000 gold, but I also made about 60,000 gold. So I want to give you guys a balance of how things works. So coming over to our notes, you can see that I try to break down of how I made this much gold in about five or seven days. So what I did was when I first started the game, I tried to get 10,000 gold from the one time sort methods. So there's a lot of things you can get about a lot of gold by doing rapport, by selling chest, and also by doing different clears and also getting different loots. Those are some of the ways you can get additional gold. So what I did was I didn't spend all my 10,000 gold. I started to save those gold and eventually I saved to 70,000. And if you want to know how I got to that, there is a video about it. So the video link is over here and this is our first video previously. So this video is update. How did I make about another 150,000? So the three source of biggest income for me was one auction house. We have just had a video about this. So how I made gold on auction house. And also about farming for dailies for tier three and also chaos dungeons, etc. And finally, it's market trading. But you know, I know some of us might not have this much gold to start off with. So what I want to do is the first a little bit summary. I want to show you guys a new method of getting more gold in the game, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. Now I'm sure most of you know about this. So the units tokens that we get weekly, you can actually come over here to the gold exchange NPC and buy the chest. If you buy the biggest chest, I have been getting about 1,500 gold a week from doing this. And I thought I forgot to mention about this, so I thought I'd mention this. And you know, basically this is fixed gold for all servers. You might get lucky with additional you know, drops of gold vouchers, but usually it's about 1,500 gold for me each week. The second one is pretty nice as well. There is a new island with NPC that gives rapport. Her first rapport is 900 gold. The second rapport is supposed to be 900 gold, but her quest is bugged out. So right now we can only get 900 gold. But once the quest is fixed, you can get 900 gold more from this NPC. So the island we'll be going to is going to be Whispering Ezreal, a Whispering Island. So it is an island located over here. So now if we come over to my replays, you can see the location of this island. Basically, you will be speaking to ABC over here. I'll show you actually, I'll show you her in-game. So this is her rapport. This is the hidden island that you have to kind of unlock to get to this. And once you do unlock, you'll come over to Navin over here and she will give 900 gold for getting her to green level and also getting her to friendly actually is 1000 gold. So it's 1900, I actually miscounted. So you get 1900 gold for doing her. But there is uh, there's a downside there. The downside is the quest of her rapport quest asks you to go to a particular dungeon or instance, but you cannot enter that. So I also have a recording over here that shows that it is bugged. So you can only get 900 gold from her. Now for her second rapport quest, she will ask you to come to Foggy Ridge. 
and once you come over here, you're supposed to enter from this question mark to finish off a quest to get 1,000 more gold. But currently, a lot of players have reported this part is bugged, so we can only get 900 gold for her. But it's not bad, right? Do the chain quest in the island for about, I think, 10-15 minutes, and then get 900 gold. And once the bug is solved, you can get another 1,000 gold this way. And over here, some of the previous guides about making gold are mentioned over here for one-time gold. So definitely check out those guides out if you haven't gotten those. Now, as we keep going, we're looking to solve the repeatable ways. I guess the weekly one was the repeatable way, but I just thought I'd add it there. So if you haven't seen the methods of farming for tier 1, tier 2, definitely check it out. And we also have videos about trade skills or farming for trade skills. Now, one thing I do want to mention, this is a new one for me as well. Some of the viewers have been telling me as well. So what happens in the game is, as you clear your chaos gate, you will get rift pieces. And players were saying that instead of exchanging for your highest tier, maybe tier 2 or tier 3, players started to exchange for tier 1 maps. So if you come to Northman over here, there is a rift exchange NPC, and he will be able to allow you to exchange for the rift pieces, which are the tier 1 maps. Now, one of the reasons the players are exchanging for tier 1 maps instead of tier 3 maps is that basically the rift pieces will cost so much more. Notice it costs 1650 for a tier 3 map and tier 3 map box, and here it will cost only 250 for the tier 1 map box. The loots are pretty much, you know, you get the harmony or you get the pouches, you get the basically the rate of materials. But one thing to notice is the tier 3 market has crashed. So if you're exchanging for tier 3 or tier 2 of the simple pouches, they don't sell for much. Notice the tier 3 actually sells for 100. The tier 2, I believe, the tier 1 sells for 250. The tier 2 sells for about 270. So what players are doing is they're using multiples of the rift basically the shards to exchange for tier 1 maps and doing those. And this will give you double or triple the value because those pouches actually sell for more. And you get more maps for a chance of getting a purple map and also more chance of getting a golden map this way each week. So for the price of getting a tier 3 map over here, basically you get one chance of getting a tier 3. I tried this, I only got a blue one. For the price of 1,600 of those shards, so basically over here, for the price of the 1,600 shards over here, the 1650 shards you can get one box right but if you go for the tier one maps you can get pretty much six of them so this way you get six times or ten times the value this way and this is a lot gold to be earned if you exchange correctly now now keep going to other methods that can give us more gold i have noticed that some players were saying they can get 3000 gold at the 20 level for the masterpiece now this is more of a collection thing i don't think we'll get this one very soon but in case you guys are into collection and you know finding things if you come to collection masterpiece you can see the rewards over here if you get to 20 masterpiece you'll get a two a 3000 gold chest at 30 pieces it's 5000 gold and also 38 or 34 pieces is 8000 gold and also 13,000 gold. So the more pieces you get, the more gold you get for this. The more you collect, the more rewarding it is for getting the masterpiece. And this is definitely a long-term thing, but you know, if you guys are into it, definitely check it out. And finally, just as a reminder, it is the weekly exchange reset. You can still buy tier one and also tier two mats from the pirate ship. Those are the destruction shards and also the guardian stones, and you can sell those because those two from the pirate ships are tradable. So they're at the docks. If your price is high, you can consider selling them or keeping them. It is up to you, and you can still make about one to two thousand gold this way. We do have a video of getting about one hundred thirty thousand pirate coins. I'll have this one attached as well. And also, before we finish, just as a reminder, it is a weekly reset. If you come to the island for Atlas, so I'm trying to get you all the ways to get more gold, right? So if you come to this island, which is Atlas, if you come to this island, I started this when the week started. So if you come to this island, it is a PvP island. There is a random merchant that sells three class engraving boxes. Those books, once you open, can be sold. And I sold mine for about 580 gold. So, you know, each sells for 190 gold. Basically, you come over here to the vendor, buy those books, and sell those class engraving boxes on the market. We do have a video about this, and I have added some of those links. So, so if you're not sure about this, definitely check it out, because the vendor will spawn randomly at three different locations. Okay, now we'll briefly talk about making gold at tier 1 and tier 2. I just want to touch up on saving gold at tier 1 and tier 2. This is quite straightforward, and what I notice is you don't want to sell your items after daily reset, and especially after weekly reset. What you want to do is you also don't want to buy items, especially homing materials, 5 or 10 hours after the reset. 
because the price will first dive down and the price will go up. You want to buy your items, you know, buy the items you needed after daily reset. You want to sell the items after five to ten hours after the daily reset. And this works for tier one, tier two, and also tier three. And now, if you guys haven't been using Mario's Secret Shop, definitely check our previous video out. I have made an Excel guide. Basically, you can exchange gold for gems, cash shop gems, and you can buy much, much further discount items from the shop. So instead of buying from the market, you can also use this Excel. And you can save a ton of gold by using the cash shop with your gold. You don't have to spend money in this one. Now, because we have covered most of the things in our previous video, that's why I'm skimming a little bit. So I'm just covering the new things I'm up updating. So as for the tier three gold income, it is still the same method. And if you guys haven't seen it, we'll be farming the KS dungeon for tier three. So this is the video guide to show you the Excel guide, how to best exchange of items. And this is dynamic because the exchange shop at tier three is actually increasing your cost each time you buy item. Now, we also have a latest video to teach you how to farm skip. This will save you a lot of time and make a lot of gold at tier 3. I have estimated I can make about 3000 gold in terms of materials in one hour. And I do half hour hour of this every day. So this is actually really profitable. Partially of the items you get will be tradable from the KS exchange. But the items that you can't trade, you can use to upgrade your materials. And just to show you guys, I'm working on the upgrading guide. I want to show you guys something fancy. Plus 14 on tier 3, right? So I have been using the this method to farm the Chaos Dungeons and using my own materials that I got to level up my weapons and gears. I do have a really good method I want to share with you guys very soon to get weapons to plus 12, plus 14, and also plus 15 soon. And once that is you know, tested, I'll have the video up for you guys for tier 3 honey to plus 15. Oh, that was quite a bit to go through, right? Now coming over to a second part. This part will focus on market trading and I want to break it down with you guys with everything. Now we did have a video to talk about how I traded on auction house, how to list items, how to filter items. So on this part, we'll focus on the daily trading method and also weekly trading method. I'll give you guys a summary of what made gold and what didn't make gold and what did I learn. We do have a previous video about daily trading, which I have added the link over here if you guys want to have a look. But this is very different. So what you want to notice is you do not want to trade the day before the weekly reset. So the reset is on Thursday, right? You don't want to trade on Wednesday using this method. You don't want to trade after Thursday, one day after Thursday using this method. That is the days that are not on the weekly reset. On the weekly reset, you use the second method because the weekly reset will shift the prices around. And yes, I did make some losses too, I'll share with you guys. So basically the items I trade daily that I try to buy and sell for 15% or 20% profit are those items. And because we had a video on this, I won't talk about this too much. So the bigger part is to know to stop trading those types before the weekly reset, because I observed the price has fell massively. And I did make a loss buying the red shards and then realizing the actual loss in price. So what I really want to highlight is how do you trade on the weekly reset? So the weekly reset will happen on a Thursday. I'm going to make a calendar for you guys very soon to make it easier. So you want to consider trading the weekly reset one day before the weekly reset. What I notice is prices seem to be inflated about 20 or 15 hours before the weekly reset happens. And then prices would drop massively about you know 10 hours before the weekly reset. And this continues to drop massively about one to two hours after the weekly reset. Price of items, of homing items, will rise massively after one to two hours of the weekly reset. So basically it started with up and it goes down and it goes up again. And what you want to catch is you want to catch the window about five to 10 hours before the weekly reset and also one to two hours after the Thursday weekly reset. This is when the price of items drops massively. And over here, I have you know observed some price changes and this is my sale for the weekly reset. So I bought about 1,400 solar grace for about 100 gold each. I later sold them at the peak of the you know, the weekly reset when the price went up for about 139 to 189 gold. And in total, I made 50% profit of those items. So just this alone made me about 70,000 gold trading this way weekly. Now over here, I also test the other items like solar protection, star's breath, moon's breath, but those actually didn't make me much gold because I couldn't sell them at a big profit. And also I bought some honored lipstone, the great honored lipstone. I tried to sell them for too high, but they actually didn't sold. But they actually, you know, they gained some value. 
the losses I made during the weekly reset was actually I bought some of the red shards, the red destruction shards, and they actually went down in price. I bought them at 160 per stack, they actually went down to 117. So I don't recommend trading the storms during the weekly reset, whether it's tier 1 or tier 2, because there's a lot of them to be gained from the players. Players get them from the weekly reset shop and players start to dump them into the market. So the price of those items will crash. But what happens when those item price crashes, the price of the other items will spike up, because players will be using the homing gears to try to level up the gears. So in summary, for the weekly trading for Lost Ark at the moment, what I do is I'll be focused on Solar Grace, Solar Blessing, and maybe I'll focus on buying some of the Greater Honor Storms. And just focusing on Solar Grace and Solar Blessing at Tier 3 means that there is a higher potential for the price fluctuation. Now, keep in mind guys, the price will fall after the weekly reset about 9 hours, because the KS gate will be opened. And you can see my interest list over here, you can see the Solar Grace is back to 100. So the Solar Grace went from 90 gold into 150 gold, then went back to 90 gold within the span of 20 hours during the weekly reset. And this is similarly to the Solar Blessing. It went from 370 gold to 500 gold, and it went back to 360 gold. And this all happened within about a day. And this is why it's so important to talk about timing. And the timing window is so important because the biggest spike of those items will happen about two to seven hours after the weekly reset. But if you wait longer than seven hours, the price will start to fall because the KS gate will be open and players can buy those items for cheaper because players will get a lot of those items from the KS gate. Now over here I did mention about me losing a bit of gold on the red shots. And just as a small tip, I don't know if this works, but Instead of me trying to sell my destruction stones for you know 110 gold when I bought them for 160 gold, I decided to use them. And to my surprise, my homing method actually worked. I got my weapon from plus 11 to plus 14, magically, right? And the homing guide is coming. I just want to test a few other things because sometimes I might just get lucky, right? So I want to test it out and I'll share this with you guys. So instead of losing 5,000 gold in the red shards, by using them, I actually gained a lot of gold because I'm not plus 14 now, so happy, right? So I'm also working on a safer trading method, which doesn't involve us in losing too much gold in buying items, and that doesn't involve in homing materials. And I'm still working on the guide. I should get it out soon, maybe in a day or two time. And once that is out, you know, after some final testing, this one is very interesting because I have... You know, one of our viewers told me he has made over 700,000, close to 1 million gold doing this. So this is a very interesting method I want to share with you guys. Very excited to make this video very soon. Now, hopefully you found this gold making guide helpful. Because I have made a few videos like this, so what I, what I do each time is I'll add new things of making gold for each tier of players, whether you're tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3. And then the new method will be covered in more details. The older method is linked on the previous video. So the previous video will be over here. And if you have a look at this one, this is how I started to make those guides. And that was the first video. So this is the second video. And maybe next week I'll make a third video. And this will be focused on the new method of getting more gold. And also a new method of farming for tier 3. And finally, the new method of market trading. Which I think is a big deal in the game. Because trust me guys, you need about 200,000 gold at least to attempt for plus 15 at tier 3. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.